So TJ made a live the other day. I think it was yesterday. And she's surprised that people don't like her. You really surprised? You pulled a stunt the other day. And you had poor SDW having an anxiety attack. That is not a very nice thing to do. And then you didn't make an apology. You came on like if it was just business as usual. That, oh, you managed to pull this uh, stunt on him. Well, guess what? You didn't make any friends. Doing that, you made a lot of enemies. And the people who were in your corner before, let me tell you, they're not in your corner anymore. You don't have any type of shame about you. You don't have any type of remorse about you. You don't even have, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you ain't got no God in you. You're floundering in the wind like a chicken with the head cut off. You don't know which way is up or down, left, right, center, east, west, north, south. And it's going to be that way until you do right by other people. You are just like Jaguar. You mirror Jaguar. And you are very mean-spirited to other people. And you expect God to come to you. God don't come to people who are that mean for no reason. I examined how you said what you were going to Tennessee. And oh, you're in Walmart. And this truck driver is going to drive you. And oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Please, Sean. I need help, Sean. Send me money, Sean. Send me a ticket, Sean. And you thought it was funny. But it wasn't funny, my dear. Because a lot of people believed you. And when you believe people who are in trouble, because as human beings, our heart goes out to people who are in trouble. And for most of us, we want to help and, and lend a helping hand. Now, I don't know if he sent you money, but let me tell you, that was very mean-spirited. You and Jaguar are laying up on that bed, trying to trick people in every which way, because you don't like SDW, and he don't like you anymore. You figure, okay, you're going to trick him. Although he don't care for you, he was still willing to help you, but he couldn't trust you. Rightfully so, because this was a trick also. And let me tell you something, Miss uh, TJ. There's going to come a time when you cry out for help. And you're going to really, really, really need the help at that time. And there will be no one to help you. Because you lie so constantly and effortlessly that people are going to remember the time that you lied. You're just as bad as Jaguar. I see no difference. You're a mirror image. Maybe that's why God put the two of you together so you can torment each other. You're living in hell right now and you don't even know it. The two of you together, that's everyday hell, purgatory. Guys, as you come onto the page, Hit the like bell, and if you have not done so as yet, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this video now. Let's hear what Miss TJ have to say. Now three people. Just be hateful. Just be hateful. You don't have nothing better else to do with yourself. First thing I see, good job. I look like I got Down syndrome. Therapy and not YouTube. But I, I thought we could do whatever we want in life. Like, I I don't think people really realize how low-key their comments um, can low-key be bullying or can have a negative impact uh, on somebody. You know, treat people how you want to be treated. Y'all don't even know me. TJ have the nerve to say treat people 
like you want to be treated. How do you treat other people, TJ? You ought to examine yourself. We don't have to know you. We know enough about you from based on what you put out there, how you treat your child and your children. Naisha, Sean Ivy Ray, what you did to him the other day and caused that man to get an anxiety attack. That was really uncalled for. And you talked about treat people like you want to be treated. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself that question again. I don't think you're going to like the answer. Not at all. I don't even have an idea of who I am. You just have what this red app told you about me. I think it's, um, I think. No, TJ, we know who you are. Not based on what you said, based on your actions. Actions speaks louder than words. We know exactly who you are. Weird. That y'all follow people around and do those things. But isn't that uh, TJ always crying? She throws the brick and hide her hand. That's this woman's ammo, okay? Always throwing the brick and hiding her hand. And then she cries, oh, why don't you all like me? Oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, treat people like you want to be treated. Oh, oh, the famous one is, you guys don't even know me. Yes, we do. We know you quite well now. You have shown us who you are. You have not really told us who you are. You have shown us. And actions speaks louder than words. Now, begging. Y'all be ready, don't you? Y'all be so ready with all your opinions about somebody. I have not even asked nobody for anything. Allergies. Well, you can't ask for anything because nobody can give you nothing. <laughs> that That's where it is right now, TJ. You made it so bad that you can't ask anymore because nobody's going to give you squat, jilts, nada. It's fanito for you, honey. Fanito, the only thing you can get right now is advice. And I ain't got none for you. I ain't got that either for you. You got to go to somebody else. You made it bad for yourself. That's what I mean. When you cry, wolf, these are the things that happen. You suffer the consequences. Now, SEW was willing to help you in the beginning, but you made it so bad that that man wouldn't even spit on you now. I've stood like that. Two people. Two people. Now three people. Just being hateful. You're lucky it wasn't more. Just... Be hateful. You don't have nothing better else to do with yourself. You're one of the most hated. First thing I see. Good job. TJ is one of the most hated people right now for what she did the other day to SDW. Uh, I look like I have Down syndrome. Because it shows the level of her conniving ways and cunning ways. And she would cry and make up a story to get sympathy. That's why she's so disliked now. She turned everybody who liked her in the beginning to people, the same people can't stand her ass right now. Therapy and not YouTube. But I, I thought we could do whatever we want in life. Like, I, I don't think people really realize how low key their comments. Um, can low-key be brilliant or can have a negative impact uh, on somebody. You know, treat people how you're going to be treated. Y'all don't even know me. Not at all. Y'all don't even have an idea of who I am. You just have what this red app told you about me. I think it's, uh, I think y'all weird that y'all follow people around and, and do those things. TJ have the nerve to call people out there weird when she's the one who has been acting weird for two months. Her entire behavior is really weird. 
Who packs their bag, a grown woman, over 26 times and go to the no further than the stoop and then come right back in, begging to come back in? It's got to be a mental illness. It's got to be. And she's got a nerve to fix her mouth and call people weird. Two days ago, she was begging for money because she needed a ticket to get to Tennessee. She said somebody left her a message that they're going to house her. And she had to get down there. So she was begging for money to get down there. SDW said, that he was going to see what he can do, call him back. And she could not come up with the people. She said, oh, they're not picking up. And she gave him a story and was still asking for the money. And he was conflicted. Then he started to talk about her. And she must have been looking about him talking about her. She called him back and she said, I see you talking about me. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to take a truck. I'm going to catch this truck that's going down there. And that man was so distraught that he did not want it on his hand if she got in the truck and something had happened to her. And he was having a little panic attack. Even she, He was crying even. And I said, how wicked this woman is. This woman knows she's not going anywhere. But then, you know, when people cry wolf, 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 and they lie so much, you don't want to believe them, but you always say, you know, if this is the time that she's telling the truth, I don't want it to be in my hand. And that's what he was going through. He was conflicted. He had a feeling she was lying, but just in case she wasn't lying, he didn't want it on his head that he did not help her. And he was pleading for her not to get on the truck. Knowing that this freaking woman was laid up in the bed with her lesbian lover. Very, very wicked thing that TJ did. I don't even think she understand the gravity. God don't like ugly. And when her karma comes around, all these sins, she's going to have to pay for. All of them. Because that man could have gotten a heart attack. Because he really believed she was going to get on that truck. Get off my page, Chantel. How about our Blackie? How about that? Now, dang it. Y'all be ready, don't you? Y'all be so ready with all your opinions about somebody. I have not even asked nobody for anything. Allergies getting better good. I know my head was all cloud. I couldn't breathe <clears throat> from the room, we, you know, we were in. And now that we moved, I feel a lot better. Thank you. Is it Janika? Thank you. Praying for us. I appreciate that. Uh, we all need prayers. I have to learn today because I need to be consistent. You know, and then there's people that support me and support us, and why not? Why do I have to let a few people, you know, um, judge me? You don't even know what my content of today is. You're judging me off the other people, but okay. So I need to block all y'all, huh? Putting time out. I just do too much. You want to be smart, you can't even smell God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny. Yeah, you know... Not letting people have a whole lot of opinion about you is is hard. But I was thinking about today. I was I was wondering why mm -hmm. 
Right. They don't say anything about people saying meet their quota. All day, they meet their quota. I'm just coming online just to chit chat. My, my chat is also about my journey as well. And, uh, you know, I just think it's funny how people are so quick to judge, judge people. When are you cutting your locks? I don't know. I was thinking about it. Um, I just, I haven't told anybody, but when I, I don't know if y'all remember when I had the front, front of my hand twisted and everything, I went to this girl and she was supposed to do my hair and fix my hair. And she wound up cutting a few of my locks and never came back to finish my hair. So I'm not sure if I should cut them or if I should find somebody to make me some, um, Jay told me I should cut them because, you know, I have a fresh start. But to me, I feel like my hair is my strength. I fought for so long to hold on to my hair, not to lose my hair. When she cut, when the lady cut my hair, I was just in tears. I was in tears. Hey, Pinky. Right, that's how I was. She was like, I'm just cutting my hair. Um, like, she tried to sew them in to make them better. Or, or, but I don't know what she was trying to do. But that's why if you see the front of my hair, I try to sew them back on myself. Um, so, yeah. Am I doing my journal wrong? Yes. I don't, I don't. Yeah, people can comment, but I don't I don't have to intake the negative comment, can be. I don't mind comment, but at least let me get in the room. You don't know how my day went. Like I don't know how your day went. Y'all talk about stuff that happened yesterday and months ago. I think, you know, that's that's to me, I think it's people just take things too far. Hey. Yo, TJ, we both don't need a fade. I ain't getting no fade. I uh uh I ain't getting no fade, but you know, I was looking where I can get some, like, and get it fixed. Because I really don't want to lose my hair. I've been growing my hair for 10 years now, almost. She can fix my hair. Good. Because I, I need to fix. I need some love to it. it I don't want swimming. I don't want some ends. It done popped up. I wash it. Uh, I try to make this on my own, but I'm not succeeding. And I'm not liking the way that I'm looking um, when, I, when I look in the mirror. So I want to get back to me. Hey, Miss Sandra, how are you? What I want to talk about, go to Jersey Box. How far is that from Dallas? Because I don't know. Carlton, Texas, I don't know. But I'm going to look it up. You know, I think your appearance matters uh, with your self-esteem, too. How you see yourself, how you perceive yourself, that matters. Might be the first to, to let them go. Yeah. Jack was saying, like, it's your past. Um, it's holding a lot of stuff in it. And, you know, that's why I made the, the title, the master, the art of letting go, you know. Well, I mean, they can feel some kind of way, can be, but I think everybody deserves grace. That's all I'm saying. It's about 20 to 30 minutes away. So you can give me a ride. That means you can give me a ride, Miss Katina, right? You have to be careful driving along. Yeah, I know. I know. Yes, I've decided to stay in Texas. Um, that's my plan for now. I'm working on some things. Hopefully, uh, we can get some stability, you know, get our housing squared away. And, uh, yeah. It's in the DFB. Okay. Manny, please don't cut my locks off. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Your hair is, I, you thought, what they say, Becky with the good hair? My hair is like different. Gentlemen, do you feel your oars to support us? I've never misled it, my uh, supporters. The only people I feel like I owe an apology to right now in my life are my children and myself. Okay, guys, <clears throat> you heard what she said. She does not owe anyone an apology except her children, and she's never misled anyone. So what happened to two days ago when she misled SDW and told him that she was on her way to Tennessee in a truck with a strange man and had him crying, shedding tears, and almost had a panic attack. That's not misleading someone. This woman lies so effortlessly. I'm wondering if she remembers what occurred or if she's lying or really don't remember. Must the, it must be a mental defect. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe she really don't remember what happened two days ago. And that's just one instance. Um, so I never mis misled anybody to get money. Remember you said don't cut she said she never misled anyone to get money. Wasn't she begging SDW two days ago for money for the bus ticket? Now she's saying she never misled anyone for money. My goodness, I got to put her in the same category as Jaguar. The liar's category. Liar, liar, pants on fire category. And I couldn't understand why I was feeling... Um, so heavy and tears was just i was just crying i'm like girl what's wrong with you well and i looked at the date and um uh, day before i laid my mama to rest for for the last time so i looked up in the bible verse uh you know timothy first timothy verses seven through eight the liquid um, came a pen because of the, my thyroids and I couldn't swallow, I couldn't eat rice, I couldn't do um, a lot of things, you know. So I was so happy to be taken off of that, but then um, they put me on something much stronger, and I was like, Oh my goodness, thank you, cat. Like, I miss my mama, I really miss my mama, I didn't realize it. Um, but yeah, I miss my parents, my mama and my daddy, you know, I never thought I would have to lay my parents to rest like that. My daddy first, and then my mama 14 days later. Do y'all think that's another story she's making up or is it real? You never know but this DJ chick. She got a whole lot of stories up her sleeve. And uh, it's just grieving season, you know, shedding my old self, becoming a new. You know, you are never homeless. You just have blessings. We all want to see that change, but it takes courage to be the change. Make sure you don't look back and say, damn, I, yes. Up, He's still alive, and talking to baby girl today. Yeah, I had me and my feelings. Well, she said she spoke with baby girl today. Until baby girl comes on and says, "Yes, I spoke with my mom, TJ, today." That's when I'm gonna believe it, because she lies a lot. This TJ, but I persevere. So I'm just holding myself to be accountable. So TJ just is throwing out words that she doesn't understand. She's going to hold herself accountable. My dear, you have not 
held yourself accountable for leaving your daughter, for abandoning a 17-year-old daughter so you can go down there to Texas just to get some pee. What accountable are you holding yourself to? What accountability? Stop using words that you do not understand. I had to go down south. I need my daddy to rest in Augusta. Tell the truth. Guys, I want you to take note with the voice change. She was speaking nice and soft, and all of a sudden she put on this masculine voice. That's how much of an actress this woman is. So don't you all believe half of what she says? Look at what she's saying with a grain of salt. I, I really don't want to go back to the East Coast. I, I really don't want to go back to the East Coast. Like, my body hurt with that muscle disease. Like, girl, that winter, that calmness, yeah. I've been away from the East Coast for, what, almost six, seven years now. I should not judge everybody who took those people words and judged them should repent. That's not nice. Pam is a grown woman. She can't handle herself. But do you know, Pam told me the only, the only way for her to help me when I cried and I told her I needed help and she has a street angel. I understand how calm a word. It's obvious to me that TJ does not understand how karma works and hers is coming she was torn at her mama opening up my mail pushing up on me taking my car just just doing too much well so tj says but we don't know that for sure we don't know if they took her card we do not know if they pushed up on her nor open up her mail. I know Jaguar said they open up TJ's mail, but between the two of them, I don't believe neither one. Not near one of them. Because both of them lie so much that you can't believe what they're saying. Unless the one and her mama come out and say, yes, we did open up the mail. And yes, we did push up on her. And yes, we did take the car. That's the only time I'm going to believe it. Listen, I'm grieving my parents. Okay, guys, I fast forwarded the video. And what she's doing is talking loud and saying nothing. There's nothing intellectual coming out of her mouth. All she keeps talking about is her dreadlocks. You've cut it if you want to. You know, cut your hair if you want to. If you don't want to cut it, don't cut it. But well, why you need to make a whole two hours of foolishness? She mentioned Naisha on this uh, this video. And the other day she put out a video stating that she would never mention Naisha's name again. Here she is mentioning her name. The lies never end. Never end. Not when it comes to TJ. But in any event, guys, this is a woman who was diagnosed with Graves' disease. So she says, we don't know if that's a lie or not. Until I see the paperwork, I'm going to have to say maybe not this is all alleged maybe not until she shows some paperwork that she has grave disease because now i know that she's a profound liar now everything that comes out of her mouth is a lie to me so she says she has great graves disease and somebody who was close to death with all the diagnosis is and all the medical intervention and the hospitalization that she had, you would think she'd really try to be in line with God's word and to be in toe and step with the teachers of what God wants you to do. But oh no, it's almost as if she is bent on being nasty towards people and then she can't understand why people lash back at her well you only get what you put out what this woman pulled have been pulling for the past two months is what she put out and she is gonna reap what she sow that's what she sow the things that she put out is the seeds that she have sown and so now when people say they don't like her 
she kind of be astonished or amazed or surprised because she already put those seeds out there and she's going to reap the harvest and the fruits of what she put out. What she did two days ago showed me the depth of how conniving she can get when she don't have money. She begged and begged SDW for money to get a ticket to go to Tennessee. And then she said, never mind, I'm going to get on this truck because this man is going my way. And then the following day she came on, she said, oh, I'm still here in Dallas, like if nothing happened. In the meantime, in the meantime, SZW was beside himself. He was so conflicted. Right there on his program, he was saying, I don't know what to do. I don't want anything to happen to her. And mind you, he don't like her anymore, but he, he still cared enough that if something happened to her, he did not want it being on his conscience. And those are the wicked things that this woman have done and is doing to people. She never apologized to him and said, listen, I shouldn't have done that to you because you could have hyperventilated or gotten an anxiety attack and stopped breathing. Because people have been known to get severe anxiety attacks and stop breathing. But oh no, not Miss DJ. She don't have it in her heart to see where she's doing wrong to people. And so she's going to reap what she sowed. And on that note, I'm over and out. Guys, drop your comments. Don't forget to hit the like bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.